Hey everybody, welcome to AWP. I am Pastor Ross and I am excited to be before you all with a, another video of encouragement. So um, the Lord had me up early this morning and I was in the book of Zechariah. And um, you know, 2024, we're going to see more judgment. We're going to see more lines being drawn in the sand. Um, we're going to see exposure. We're going to see a lot of the things we're seeing, hypocrisy, a lot of things happening in the body of Christ. And God is really pressing upon us leaders specifically. Um, and, you know, those of you who may not be laymen or clergy, um, you know, of course, as believers, we always have to choose God's side. But particularly leaders, the Lord is saying, I need you to get away from being diplomatic um, not problematic, but not diplomatic, um, if there is a space in between. Um, so what side are you on? I want you to think about that. What side of the fence are you on? Will you meet, be diplomatic or problematic or somewhere in between? And as a leader, I have to be honest, I am trying to find my way and for those of you who are in leadership and even as a believer um, in general, are you struggling trying to find your way with the things that we've been healing, hearing and dealing with and, you know, um, with, you know, the celebrities and the stuff happening in the churches? And um, are you struggling? Because honestly, I, I am. I, and it's not that I'm unclear of, um, you know, who God is and what he means to me, my mandate, my call, the charge he's given me. But those lines, those little finite lines of, am I being judgmental? You know, am I um, being too much? Am I being over the top? Um, you know, as a leader, these are things I think about. And um, I'm struggling, y'all. But I do know that God's word is the truth and you cannot mix the word. You can't mix the truth. And I'm tired of struggling with what side of the fence I'm, I'm on. And, and um, God requires all from us. He requires everything. And the altar, the pulpit, it is not to be desecrated. It is not to be mixed with this world, um, with anything that's not of God, not of the Holy Spirit. Um, and I'm ready to go uh, deeper. I'm ready to allow God to pull back the layers and not care about what man thinks, not care about what, what you know, uh, people's opinions may be and I need you to be like that I need you to be unapologetic I need you to take a stand my God hallelujah take a stand for who God is and what the word says and don't mix with the world I know it's not easy we grew up listening to these you know these artists our favorite artists we we grew up with certain uh cultural norms and traditions and you know uh practices and you know we grew up with these things culturally but at what point do we mature as christians and say enough is enough this is why i'm not seeing breakthrough this is why i'm not getting a prayer through this is why i keep repeating cycles this is why i'm not experiencing the the, the full manifestation of god and and the word and this is why i'm not seeing change in my life and i have to idolize what's out there money relationships this is why because i am not fully giving myself over to the lord so i want you to think about these things as i close this video i just wanted to get on quickly just to put that out there i want you to think about it for 2024 Although there will be judgment, although there will be a continuation of sicknesses and things happening, the economy, things happening, God is still looking out for his children, his chosen yielded vessels. Are you a chosen yielded vessel? Think about this as you press into this year. Uh, where are you? What side of the line are you on? Um, how far are you willing to go? Because I'm willing to go deeper. Despite man. 
and you've got to have your mind made up. You've got to be, you know, on that same wavelength that, God, my mind is made up for you. Jesus, I just want you. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for allowing me to get on right now, God, for this time of prayer. Bless the ministry, God. Bless AWP. Bless everybody who is here now and those who will come after. We thank you and we honor you, God, in spirit and in truth. And in your mighty name, Jesus, I say amen, amen, amen. I love you guys. God bless.